Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. The title of this video is Disturbing the Peace. It's going to be about noise transmission because people are just not understanding the problem with noise and for sure the solution. And 90% of what you read on the internet is just garbage. Those, I don't think those people have ever built a room in their life because if they have, they would not speak like that. Noise transmission. That is sound or noise, let's call it noise, leaving the room and disturbing others. Or the flip side of that is sound from others, noise, if you will, from them bothering you. So it's source, receiver. The source is making the noise, you're the receiver. Okay, that's called noise transmission. The transmission of that between source and receiver. It's vibrational acoustics. Airborne energy strikes a hard surface and it turns into vibrational energy. And that vibrational energy, so we have a big worm or snake, if you will, it strikes a hard surface and it becomes a little snake, becomes vibrational signatures. So we have to deal with vibration. We know that in order to stop the vibration or the noise, we have to build a barrier between the source and the receiver. Now, the structure that we build has to be focused on the transfer of vibrational energy. We have to minimize the vibrations through the solid material or the barrier, okay? So how do we do that? Well, the design first is also always a ratio of, we have a room, we're creating noise. The noise is leaking out, okay? That's fine. But the area that it leaks out into has a particular noise floor, okay? So if we're producing 100 dB SPL inside of our drum room and the noise floor outside is 50 dB SPL, that's a 50 dB difference. So the ratios are really lopsided there. So the people that are out in the neighborhood, they're not going to be happy because you're producing twice as much energy as they are. So you're going to become noticeable. Do that two o'clock in the morning in Los Angeles and you really understand the problem. Noise floors in neighborhoods drop drastically when human activity ceases. So what you could get away with during the day, you can't get away with at two in the morning. You have to take all of those variables into consideration. How do we do it? We use what's called a sandwich. We've built so many rooms and tested so many designs especially when we were in real estate development, our rooms were noted for being very, very quiet. And there was a reason for that, okay? We use a sandwich approach. We use different layers of material arranged differently depending on the noise numbers. And that's what's so critical about it because every noise number contributes to the material type in the sandwich. You want mustard, do you want ketchup, do you want pickles? All of those things on your sandwich are related to the noise. Well, when you're eating food, it's related to personal preference and the flavor and the taste, but not with noise. Everything has to be looked at. Multiple materials, all materials are frequency and amplitude dependent. And this is where experience comes in. You can't read this stuff and understand it in a textbook. You have to try it, apply it, measure it, and then figure out what to change to make it better. So you gotta measure, measure, measure the noise, you got to do it over seven days because we want a picture of the noise over a whole week. We're probably going to make an assumption that it's going to be the same the, the following week. But a, a week's seven-day noise time study is a good start. Okay, so we have to measure. Frequency and amplitude, we got to know where the noise is located on the frequency range. We have to know how strong it is. And there's a big variance between energy that's less than 125 hertz, let's call that low frequency, and energy that's above 125 hertz, let's call that middle and high frequency energy. The barriers for these two couldn't be more different. If I had a barrier here showing you for 125 and a barrier here above 125, you wouldn't even recognize them. You wouldn't be able to tell. You'd be able to tell the barrier below 125 because it's thicker more mass, right? Because we're dealing with more pressure and energy. You can't guess with noise. It's not cost effective. Here's the thing with noise. You don't want to spend $1 more than you have to. You're never going to get it back. 
because it's going to go with the structure because it's a permanent build. So we want to measure, measure, measure. That old carpenter adage, measure twice, cut once, couldn't be more applicable here. I'm going to say measure, measure, measure three times because that's what you have to do. Okay? So we have to measure. There's a process. We don't want to spend any more money than we have to on noise. People do this all the time. They go on the internet, they read, well, let's do this double drywall, green glue this, green glue that. That stuff is only good for above 125 hertz. It won't deal anything with low frequency. So you have to be really, really careful here. There is no one size fits all. There is no easy solution when it comes to noise. There is no wall hanging units that deal with noise transmission. Those are sound absorption technologies. If it's hanging on the wall, it's absorbing the energy within the room. It's not doing anything to keep the energy inside the room from leaving. Okay, disturbing the peace, noise, 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 measure, measure, measure. You have to quantify and qualify because every dollar you spend on every material is dependent on the frequency and amplitude of the noise. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.